Good morning, New Life family. So good to be here. There's, I think, six of us here in the church, but we know in the church building, but we know our church family is out there everywhere. And we just want to say good morning. And we're so um, glad to be doing this together and coming together this morning. I want to say welcome um, from myself and Malcolm. Welcome from Maddie and Jody. Welcome from our team, Daniel, Janelle, Bruce, and Laura, who are here this morning. Welcome from all of our elders. Um, we are in this together, even though we're not in the same room together. So we're really looking forward to just focusing on Jesus together this morning, to encouraging one another, to um, just worshiping him together. Hey, Daniel. And Daniel, I'm just going to ask you if you would give us that call to worship, pray us in, and uh, I will talk to you guys all in a little bit. Thanks. Hey, online family. Sounds so weird. Let me use those two words together in one sentence, but... Um, I just want to read to you guys something I was reading today this morning in Matthew 11:25, and it was encouraging to me, and I hope it's encouraging to you. Um, yeah, and this is from the Passion Translation, and this is Matthew 11, verse 25. It says, then Jesus exclaimed, Father, thank you, for you are Lord, the supreme ruler over heaven and earth. And you have hidden the great revelation of your authority from those who are proud and wise in their own eyes. Instead, you have shared it with those who humble themselves. And then I'm going to read just a little further down. Matthew 11, 28 it says, Are you weary, carrying a heavy burden? Then come to me. Remember that. I will refresh your life. For I am your oasis. I just have a sense that in this season of, uh, I don't know, you can call it social isolation or whatever. Um, again, this, is, this was an encouraging word for me. Um, it's so easy to hear what's going on and what God is doing in other people's lives. And there's so much revelation with the prophets of what's going on. And, and it's all over Instagram and Facebook, which is great. Uh, but I, have, have, I just have a sense that, um, that Jesus is inviting you to come into a secret place with him in this season so that you can hear what he's doing in your life specifically. And in that verse, that was the second verse I was reading. He says, come to me. I just, this morning as we're worshiping together, I just want to invite you to come to this place where you're just undone before Jesus. Or you're taking the time to hear his revelation for your life specifically in this season. And I think something, a beautiful exchange is going to happen. So I just invite you as we're worshiping for you to just to come to this place where you allow him to take off your burdens. And, and he's going to give you revelation for your family in this season. Let's worship together. the Christ the saving one and we can see that God your move mighty river through the nations we invite you heavenly gates prepare the way of the race Now it 
Jesus alone. Hope is in Him. He is freedom. He is healing right now. He be the highest price He has proven His great love for us We will praise Him with our lives and proclaim our love Claim our love for Him. Let proclaim our love for Him. He has paid the highest price. He has proved His great love for us.
Shadows can deny your name and I'll be overcome. Your name is a lie forever lifted high. Your name can I be overcome? Your name is a lie that the shadows can deny. Your name cannot be overcome. Your name is a lie, forever lifted high. Your name cannot be overcome. Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly trust in Jesus' name. Christ alone, the weak man. Say yes, 
place the cornerstone we Yeah, thank you, Lord. You really are our cornerstone. Everything that is changing and all that is going on right now, you are our rock. You are our foundation. You are the one thing that does not change. Thank you, Jesus, that our feet can be firmly planted on you. And thank you, Jesus, that um, you've made a way just for us to be so connected to God and connected to one another. And I just thank you for that peace that you left us, that peace that isn't fragile, but that's strong and uh, that, that helps us and gives us courage. And so I thank you that we don't have to fear because you are our cornerstone. Jesus, I just thank you that we can take all of our cares all of our anxieties, all of our stresses, and we can give them to you because you tell us to do that, to cast all our cares on you. And in return, you, Jesus, tenderly care for us. And I just thank you for that. As we fix our eyes on you and we listen and we receive, we get everything we need and more for this time and this season. So we just thank you that you're our cornerstone and you're our rock. And I just pray for every one of us together this morning, everyone watching, everyone here, that we would firmly plant our feet on you and know that no matter what is going on around us, you are there, you are with us, you are here, you are right here in us. Our hope is in you and you are full of hope, our faith is in you and you are faithful our peace is in you and you are peace and so i thank you for that this morning thank you thank you jesus well thank you so much daniel it was just beautiful setting our feet and our hearts and our minds on jesus i so appreciate it